right, so hi, I'm uh, Aaron Mavernack. I design the Detroit Underground modular modules uh, for Eurorack. Um, so you may be familiar with our uh, DU-Seq, which is our flagship sequencer, and uh, DU-RDT are some of our older modules. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about our new module. It's uh, something a little bit different. We call it the DU-ENO, uh, named because it's actually an Arduino shield for Eurorack. So it can do all kinds of different things. So it's got kind of generic CB inputs and outputs that can be programmed to do whatever you want. Looking at the front of the module, we've got four CV inputs on one side, four CV outputs on the other side. These are uh, output by precision digital analog converters. Uh, we also have a fully analog computer inside, so if you want to do things like uh, VCAs or uh, ring modulators, things like that, that can all be done using the onboard uh, fully analog signal path uh, analog computer that could be assigned to any of the CV inputs or outputs. Uh, and then that comes out through the uh, final function output here. Uh, we also have some uh, gate or trigger inputs, so those are kind of like your digital inputs. And then the only other stuff on the interface is this uh, 128 by 64 OLED screen with an encoder knob and a couple of buttons. Um, so you get a pretty rich interface with, uh, you know, things like settings and uh, you know, levels and things like that. So right now, uh, I've got running a, a quantizer. So I'm using our uh, the DU Seq, our uh, our, our uh, kind of flagship sequencer product here, uh, is an unquantized sequencer. So it's just outputting a raw CV voltage. So when I move these sliders around, that's just a, a raw CV voltage. And uh, the notes that are coming out of that obviously won't be on any particular scale. So if I turn this knob here, I'm changing between different preset scales, or I can go down to the actual notes here and like add little uh, notes or turn off notes. So that'll give you basically the different semitones that are going to be, um, the, that the, the CD is going to be quantized to. And then on the other side here, we have uh, oh, something I'm really excited about. It's, uh, I call it a stochastic drum sequencer. So uh, it's a, basically a normal uh, kind of your standard 16-step drum sequencer that has four different outputs. Uh, but these guys can actually talk to each other. So you could have eight or, or uh, 16 even uh, all connected together, all synced together. And uh, uh, basically, instead of just turning a step on or off, though, you can also add them to one of four probabilities that are controlled by the four CV inputs. So right now you can actually hear there's some there's some high tom in that uh, sequence. I just turned them off. If I turn this on, some of those toms are going to come back on, and that's basically depends on how much CV I'm putting into that input. And I've actually got two different ones going right now, so I can totally morph that pattern in uh, really kind of creative, unique ways just by sending LFOs or uh, other kind of sources of CV to those inputs. Uh, so you get some really uh, Detroit Underground's actually kind of a, an IDM or techno label. So you got a lot of different uh, kind of rhythms going in there, a lot of different randomness and stuff like that. And it's perfect for that kind of stuff. It's a complete module as long as you supply your own Arduino. Uh, but of course, we can sell you an Arduino with it, which in, in which case it becomes a complete product. We're also offering a complete software library, so that's not just the that's a software library that you can build your own functions on, but also our functions, uh, which include, by the way, a complete clone of our own uh, $500 uh, flagship sequencer on this module that is on uh, Kickstarter right now for just over $200 US. So pretty good deal for that.